YouTube. Bird Billy here. Hey, uh, today I'm going to change out the dishwasher. Uh, I got one we're switching out. Uh, I got everything out of here. You see some stuff up on the counters here. I'm waiting for it to get in. They're pretty simple. Um, I've got a couple of tips and tricks that I do when I uh, do them. So I'm going to show you guys, guys those and talk about them as I do them. Um, as always, if you're watching this and I do something and you're thinking, what did he just do there? Or I think he missed a step. Um, shoot me a message or uh, send me an email and uh, I'll, I'll gladly explain it to you or get another video up. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to do this one in sections and then blend them together. So, um, here we go. All right, guys, so here we have it. Um, I already made the cut and then I realized I didn't have the camera on. So, basically, what you do when you get these in the box, the best way to get them out is they have that cut line around the bottom. Follow that cut line, um, just use your knife and cut it all out, and then the top just lifts off like this. And they've got these uh, corner cargo brackets, you get them out. This right here is your insulating sheet. Um, sometimes these are a pain. On some of the units, they're really thick. They're getting better on some of them, and I think they're making this plastic thicker or something and not making these as thick as they used to because sometimes they were almost useless when you go to slide them in if it's really tight and these are really bulky they'll bunch up when you go to slide it in the opening and uh i've seen a giles where it was like almost impossible to put it on and slide it in at the same time just couldn't do it so um it's good that they're making these a little thinner you want to try if at all possible you want to keep this insulating cover around the unit it helps with keeping the heat in the unit and it also helps with uh, the noise dampening these are a pretty simple install um, there's, you're going to have a water hookup for supply, a drain hookup for your waste, and uh, your electrical hookup. In an ideal situation, what I like to try and do, if, if the time allows, um, is I like to hardwire a pigtail or an extension cord off the electrical side and put an outlet in the back wall. What that does is anytime you have to service or work on the unit or install a new unit, it's a real quick swap. Because one of the biggest deals with, with these things and what I run into a lot of calls on is uh, when people go to hire, change the unit out down the road or have service work done to it, some of these guys, if they can't find the breaker, it becomes an issue. Um, I've actually been called out to take care of calls where you know they had Lowe's or Home Depot or somebody coming to do an install and then the guy said well I can't deal with the power situation you gotta you gotta deal with that so if you have a plug it's it's pretty simple you just unplug it and plug it back in back in the wall um, so the way these come out there's gonna be screws underneath it there's usually two there's wing there's little wings that come off the top this one doesn't have it yet they, I, they're probably gonna be in the bag and I'll hook them they'll tab in right here and I'll show you guys this here in a second they'll tab in here hang out and you screw up into the countertop. It's those two screws that hold that thing in place. You've got your, your uh, usually uh, there's, a, there's two back metal feet like this that are longer, and then two front adjusting legs up and down to accommodate for an uneven floor or if you're getting around a lip. Um, one thing to do if you're doing one of these is to always check your floor first because I've run into more and more situations where guys will come in and they'll lay a tile floor down and they'll tile the dishwasher right into the counter. So, you know, your dishwasher is sitting here like this and, and your original floor is like this. When you add, you know, a half inch backer board and then another uh, three uh, quarter of an inch for your adhesive layer and your three eighths of an inch for your tile, you know, you're raising it up that much. Well, there's not enough play sometimes in these to get them out. I did one a couple months ago where I actually had to get in there with a sawzall, cut the feet off, and that was enough for me to get it out and then wiggle the thing out. Otherwise, that cabinet wasn't coming out, or the um, washer wasn't coming out without me lifting the uh, countertop. So, um, just some things to look for to save yourself a headache ahead of time before you start the project. Uh, before you start really doing anything with this unit, make sure that this unit can come out um, and that you're able to get this one out to put the other one in. If you can get this one out, the new one should go in because they're pretty much the same size. They're 24 inch uh, units. Okay, um, I'm just going to run this and uh, I'll edit out what's not important. So you guys will see me working and as I do stuff, I'll talk about it.
All right, guys, I'm going to bring the camera in here, and we're going to take a look at some stuff. And as you can see, that light I had on my head, I really like these. They work out really well. So here's what we got. Whoever wired this, yeah, we're going to need that light in there. Whoever wired this, <laughs> that's the wiring job. Can you do it? Yeah. Will it work? Yeah. Is it safe? Absolutely not. This should have been done inside the box. Um, there's the connector, and that would have gone in the box. Now, this is live, and this is where I'm going to bring out my trusty meter. It's got a non-contact voltage button on it. We're going to listen for voltage. That's on the, this is the common line, so this is going to be the hot line. Hear that? So we got voltage buzzing in there. That's live. So I need to get the power shut off to this, which I knew that was going to be the case. Inside there, you can see on the floor, that's a no burst line. That's good. That's the uh, supply line right there, that silver one, uh, right, that one right there. And our drain line is this black one above it. So that, this right here, um, we'll need to unhook this. We'll need to unhook this. The supply line will hook up. Um, we can do this once we pull the unit out. Sometimes you don't have enough slack. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, usually they're up front right here. So here it is right here. So we'll unscrew this right here, and that'll take care of our supply line. It looks like they put enough slack on this that I can slide this one in and out. Um, let me get this panel out of the way. You can see right here on the floor, here's the edge of my floor. Here's the other side. I'm going to show you. If I bring my finger up, maybe you can see it. Uh, it's, see the indentation on the side of my finger? So there's that much. There's about a quarter of an inch of a drop and there's the foot right there down below this so I'm going to either have to cut these off or I have to turn these for ease of um, getting it out it's a pain in the ass to try and turn these and get them up so I'm probably going to take my saws off and cut it right there and this one here is already out um, there's nothing there so that yeah, probably and that's you can see the wobble right there um, this one has legs in the back too Instead of having a flat bar, sorry, I'm, I'm looking and not seeing where the camera was. There's one there. I'm trying to watch so I don't electrocute myself for a kill of power. This one here was never put up, so that'll be nice. That one will just slide out. This one here, um, I may have to cut that one as well if I can't get... You, you can get them. You put a wrench on it and start turning them, and then usually you can spin them, but sometimes it's easier just to cut them. So I want you guys to see what I'm doing and what I'm going to be working on here while I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this stuff, but um, just so you can see... There's your uh, motors right there underneath your pump, and uh, it's a pretty simple deal here. So we've got we got to make sure our, our water supply is shut off. We got to make sure our electricity is shut off, and the drain we don't really need to worry about too much. Now there's there's going to be residual water in there pretty much always. So when we undo that, there's going to be a bit of a mess. Always have some rags or a paper towel with you to clean it up. Um, but this should be a pretty straightforward job. I'm going to get some tools together. I'm going to put the camera back up, and I'm going to start working on this.
Okay, so here's what you want to see. Your electrical is in a box, not laying loose. You're going to check your fitting right there. Make sure that there's no leaks there, leaks at that one. You want to check all your pump stuff, make sure nothing is dripping. And then where your drain line hooks off, which is right here, and that's already hooked up factory. Back in the day, you used to have to install these um, yourself. You'd sometimes hook the line in yourself. This one here came from the factory like this. So it's already done and hooked up. Um, but some models are probably still that way where you'll get them where the drain hose will just be in your dishwasher and you hook it up and run it through or if you're using an older unit. So just always run a check. Then come underneath your cabinet. Make sure that your valve is looking good. If you have a connection, it's already tucked back into the wall. I had a joint right there. I already checked that. And then you want to check over here this one right there. Make sure that that doesn't leak as well. And then since you're knocking stuff around, make sure that those uh, fittings right there are draining okay as well. I always like to cycle a little water through it. Just make sure everything's good. Open it back up again. Make sure that you don't have any debris in there. Um, like paper product that you may have left from the manufacturer. And then I'm going to run a load in here. So, it looks good. It's installed. There's the two uh, attachment bolts, under, uh, screws underneath. And this is an installed dishwasher. I was checking the legs underneath to make sure they were steady, and they are. So we're installed and done. I will um, go ahead and attach the kick plate, and this is done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and give me your subscription. <music>